Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the one and only Ranting Redhead, also known as Aiden. And today, I'm going to get just right into it. I'm going to get right into my rant today. So, I'm at work, and there's the, these two people. I'm going to guess husband and wife or boyfriend and girlfriend. <clears throat> And whenever they're in, they're just, they're kind of just the people that like you see and, you know, you talk about behind their back, how they can be better people. They're, it's that kind of group of people. Well, okay. Lately, the lady had been coming in by herself and I didn't realize they were together because I hadn't seen them in a hot second. But number one, she is like, she is the reason, like this lady right here, she is the reason why men don't like women. <laughs> I'll just say that. Like she, oh my God, she looked like such a bitch. <clears throat> and I've said this many times. I hate to say it against my people, but redheaded women are either a 10 or a zero. She is most definitely a zero. Like takes no pride in her appearance at all. And doesn't seem like she makes the effort to put, to, she doesn't put in any effort to make herself better. Okay, so yesterday, I see them, and they get a bunch of stuff, and the wife is just bitching and bitching at him the whole time, like, well, why did you have to get this? Why'd you have to get that? Can't you work an extra hour so we can maybe afford something for once? Jesus fucking Christ. And of course, she's like, well, I need to do this separately. I'm paying for the milk. I'll pay for the milk. And meanwhile, they spent like over $150 on groceries. But I'll I'll pay for the milk. I'll do I'll I'll do the big thing, okay? And this is my milk. You're not allowed to drink it. But the whole time, like, he's putting all the groceries in the car. She's standing there. And meanwhile, there's another guy that's with him that, you know, the girl and him are probably they're probably fucking on the side, but whatever, not, not my business to judge, but the whole time she's like, come on, babe, you got to pay. And first of all, don't, don't call your significant other, babe. It's just sickening to me. Anyway, she starts going like, you need to pay for the order. Come on, snap to it. Get the fucking cash out now. And the whole time she's like, like she's looking at the other guy going, if only he worked a couple extra hours, we wouldn't be having this fucking problem. And I'm like, the guy, apparently, I think he knows who I am. I really can't remember who he is, but he seems, he seems like an all right guy. But oh my God, she treats him with no respect at all. And it's just like, why are you with her? Why do you continue to stay with her? And of course, the milk that she paid for was a WIC card, so she wasn't paying for anything. <laughs> she's, so, yeah, and like I said, she's the type of person, I have to paint a picture. Very, I, I mean, look, I get that it's humid out, especially this time of year, but hair all over the place, frizzy as ever, has like, she's, she's wearing just a tank top and shorts, and she looks like they're about to burst because she's so fat. Like, her stomach is huge, and guess what? I don't think she's pregnant. I just think she, you know, may have had a little bit too much Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's just what I think. But there's no way she's pregnant because she's been like this for a while. So, I don't know. I... I would cover I would cover that up if I was you. Put 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 a shirt over. Jesus Christ, you're making everyone sick. I mean, I don't care what you think, but think about other people. Like we have a rea like people have a reaction to other people and their bodies. So you know what? Cover that up before you make them ill so they can't go to work and pay the bills. So really when, you know, they can't pay the rent, it's all her fault <laughs> when you really think about it. It's all her fault. But then, like, she started bitching, being like, well, you might have to get a second job. Trust me, I don't believe she has a job because she's in the store all the time. I'm like, you don't have time to be working if you're in several times a day. So why don't you get, why don't you get up off your ass and get a job? And who knows, maybe if you, you know, walk to, let's say she works at an, let's say she work, goes to work at an office building. Well, you know what? If she takes the stairs, she might lose a little bit of weight. I'm <laughs> just saying it can't hurt. I mean, she'll at least sweat the lard out of her system. <laughs> but hey, you know what? That's just my point of view. And 
if that guy chooses to stay with her, then you know what? You're a braver man than I am, but you're also probably a dumber man than I am. But my point is just treat your significant other with respect. Put in the same amount of effort that they put in. And you know what? He's willing to put in, I'm at least I'm guessing eight hours a day. Why can't you put in a little bit too? But um, that also led me to something else I saw yesterday. A similar situation, but somewhat different. So this guy and his mom come through the line. And when I say this guy, he looks like he's late 20s, maybe like 30, 31. Like he looks like the kind of guy that just sits in his basement, plays video games. I mean, he's got like, he's got like that stupid, like uh, male porn stash. So of course he doesn't shave. He just seems like an idiot, pretentious fuck. So the whole time with his, with his mother, he keeps going like, well, it's, uh, well, you gotta, you gotta pay the bill. I don't have my wallet on me. So you gotta pay for my stuff. And he's like, Oh, what a long day. I can use a nap. I'm willing to bet he did nothing that whole day, that entire fucking day. I guarantee you he did nothing. She's like, Oh, what a long day. I'm taking a nap. And the, the, that poor mo- that poor mother is like, oh, well, he's my son, so what are you going to do? Make him get a job. <laughs> do something. Like, oh my God, I felt so bad. I don't feel bad for people. I felt legitimately horrible for her because of that stupid fat fuck son of hers. <laughs> I mean, it seems like to me, the only time he gets out of his basement is when he goes upstairs and says, hey, mom, are you going to make me some Cheerios or what? That's what, that's the only time he ever gets out of his basement. And of course, to come to the grocery store to harass his mom about, Hey, can you buy the Fritos? Can you get me some fucking Fritos, mother? God, you do nothing for me. Literally, like, that's what he said. Just treat people with respect. Cause clearly they're the, like, she's clearly buying him stuff. If I was that, if I was that kid's parent, not only would I not buy him groceries, I would abandon him at the grocery store and say, get a ride home. I'm not dealing with you. You're, you're 30 years old. Get up off your ass and get a job because everyone around you is getting pissed off at you. I mean, like little kids don't treat people with respect because they're idiots they will learn to do that along the way, hopefully. These are people that clearly, clearly have never respected anybody in their life. They don't care about anyone but themselves. So, newsflash, if you see these, if you see this happening in a person that's close to you, cut ties with them and abandon them because they're not going to learn. And you know what? Why should you put in the effort to make them learn? Because clearly they don't care about you. It's funny because I once, I once had a friend like that and I did him a couple favors. He owed me some money and you know what? I never, I never received payment. I waited a month. He kept saying, oh, I'll get it to you. I waited a little bit more and you know what I did? I popped two of his tires on his car. (laughs) I, I'm, I'm, I'm dead freaking serious here. I got so pissed off at him. So I was like, you know what? I'm pop, I'm popping this guy's tires. I, I swear to God, this is true. I'm not, I, I was pissed. You owed me money. So now consider it even if you're listening out there, you know who you are. So yes, I popped your tires. It was, I, what are you going to do about it? Consider us even if you try to come after me, I don't think he listens anyway. So who knows? (laughs) But anyway, yeah, don't, don't be rude to people that respect you because And in the end, hopefully it will come back to bite you in the ass. I don't know. Just consider me old fashioned, I guess. But you know, uh, if I had a significant other and I I would, if they were saying that shit to me, bitch, you're walking home. And when you get home, pack your shit and get out. (laughs) That, that would be my attitude. And I would, I would never do that to somebody. I could not imagine doing that to somebody unless like, maybe as like a joke but this was not a joke. She was really being fucking rude to him. I mean, honestly, I thought she was going to start yelling out like, this is my, this is my significant other Frank or whatever his name is. He is such a failure. I would not have been surprised if she said that, just shouted that she was that kind of a bitch. 
And oh my God, I, I said to someone, cause there was one day she came in, like I said, by herself. I looked over at somebody like one of my coworkers after she left, I looked at her and I said that like that pointing to the woman, I said, that is the reason why men become sterile <laughs> is when they look at, when they look at hideous monsters like that. <laughs> I mean, oh my God. Like I said, I, I've said this a million times. If you do not have the best appearance or the be- or the best like body, you know what? Just put in a little effort to try to better yourself. I mean, I get that it's hard to do if like you have a terrible face. I mean, I'm one of them. I'm not going to lie. I do not like my appearance at all. But you know what? I at least try to I try to like keep myself well groomed. I try to I try to look nice as best as I can. And you know what? That's because, you know what? That's the best that I can do. I don't walk around in a fucking wife beater with like sandals and shorts, just walking around, moping around with a big fat fucking gut hanging out that discusses that disgust. It's so disgusting. I'm yeah, I don't dress like that because to me, that's gross. I don't know how other people don't find it gross. And just know, if I see you out in public and you have the shittiest appearance, whether you're just wearing an undershirt or you're just wearing sweatpants or your pajamas, just know that I will berate you hard as fuck because it is disgusting. You are disgusting and you really need to try to better yourself because what you're doing is just wrong, plain and simple. I've, the only exception with sweatpants, I will say this, very, very few, like 95% of women cannot pull off sweatpants and no man can, but for about 5% of women, of women with certain sweatpants. Okay. Okay. Maybe like 96%, but it's that close of the amount of people that cannot pull off sweatpants and the odds are you are not one of them. So you know what? Don't even try. Just don't even try. Move on with your life. Get a better wardrobe. You know what? If you really want, I'll go out and buy you a pair of jeans. Just so you're not, just so when I have to see you, you don't look stupid. But I guess that's it for this episode. Thank you all so much for listening. And I'll see you next time. Don't wear sweatpants.